Hey everybody, this is Eric with Phone Scoop, and we're taking a quick look at Windows Phone 8.1. Uh, this is the uh, Nokia Lumia Icon, which of course we've already reviewed. It's available from Verizon Wireless. And it has uh, one of the coolest benefits of Windows Phone 8.1 readily visible here on this home screen. Of course, we've got three columns for uh, live tiles, and if you see, there's a uh, there's an image in the background, it's a green image, and it stays there. So we've got transparent tiles. Uh, Windows Phone 8.1 allows you to set a background image, and uh, system system apps like you know you can see here the the phone, uh, Internet Explorer, uh, messaging and email can uh, be uh, made transparent, so you can see the image that's floating in the background. Uh, I think it's a really cool addition to Windows Phone and uh, will really help people customize the device further. Um, and you can see here we've got uh, the battery sense tile that lets you know uh, about your battery usage. It could be used to uh, uh, go to battery savings mode. The um, regular menu system uh, looks about the exact same. Uh, there's no real change here. But you will notice, I'm going to put this down. The uh, action menu is uh, is pretty cool. Um, you've got toggles for your radios here. You've got a link to the store which shows you uh, that you've had some apps updated recently. And if you had any unread emails or other messages, that's where they'd show up. But you can see the uh, uh, a notification uh, action menu has uh, lots of messages there. So you can you get phone calls, messages, and everything. You can see how that works out. So that's all pretty neat. Of course, one of the other things that uh, Windows Phone 8.1 features is a uh, refreshed calendar. So we'll go into there, and you can see immediately we have a week view. Uh, it's really nice. You've got all your appointments laid out for an entire week right here, and you can scroll over to the next week and the week after that, or if you wish, go into uh, day view and swipe from day to day, uh, which is also a new addition. It's uh, swiping from day to day. So that's all very nice uh, stuff. And we've got a new version of Internet Explorer, IE 11. And, uh, you know, they say it's a, a much faster um, version of the browser. I'm going to uh, type in phone scoop here if I can. So there will load uh, load phone scoop, uh, and you can see uh, it loaded pretty quickly. I don't know if it's running on Wi-Fi or not, but uh, it's still loaded pretty quickly. You can see there have uh, support for multiple tabs, and you see this other here. Uh, it will now sync with uh, other Windows devices. So if you have uh, Internet Explorer 11 on a tablet or a desktop, you will see all the open tabs. Uh, from that other machine here, which is uh, kind of catches Windows Phone 8.1 up to Android and iOS a bit. The other neat additions to Windows Phone 8.1 is the ability to swipe your finger across the keyboard rather than peck uh, individual letters. You can, uh, um, you know, kind of mimics the behavior of, of apps like Swipe on the Android platform. So we'll uh, try a quick sentence here. So you can see, um, I don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah, so I was able to successfully uh, swipe together a sentence, which is really nice and should help uh, people type faster, compose messages quicker on their Windows Phone 8.1 device. Microsoft has also uh, taken the time to revise the Windows Store a little bit. We will uh, open the store. And you see when you open the store, it jumps straight to featured apps. Previously, it jumped to uh, a list uh, that had, you know, uh, featured, favorites, blah, 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 some text menus here. And uh, Microsoft decided to do away with that screen and made it quicker to uh, open, uh, you know, the actual store and see real results. We you know we can zoom over one screen and see different curated lists as well as the full set of categories and last recommendations. And the recommendations are made based on other apps you uh, may have already downloaded to your Windows device. 
similar to the way Microsoft revised the uh, store, it also uh, revised the photo hub a little bit. Uh, when you press the photo app, instead of, uh, again, getting a screen with some text listings, you jump straight into your full photo gallery. So you can see it's all, and these are all the images um, that are on the phone. And then if you want, you can scroll to uh, different albums, to photos you may have favorited, and so on. So just a little tweak that uh, you know, makes it a little bit faster to perhaps get to uh, the images you're interested in viewing. So that is a quick look at Windows Phone 8.1, uh, running on various uh, pieces of hardware. I showed it to you on a Lumia Icon, a Lumia 1020, and this is, of course, a Lumia 1520. So there it is, Windows Phone 8.1, coming to existing devices this summer and uh, new devices uh, even sooner than that.